Hey you guys, it's your girl Aspama Girl26. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you all that are new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I am a 12 year army veteran. Uh, I pretty much am new to YouTube and I'm kind of starting my journey in YouTube to kind of, you know, do it for fun for a little while and then we'll see what happens. But I have some great hauls for you today. Happy Soul Food Sunday. You guys just got a chance to take a look at uh, my previous video on a haul that I did from an event that was held last weekend in Birmingham, Alabama called the Cottontails. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I don't plan on disappointing you with this next haul. You guys, I went on a little shopping spree this weekend didn't plan on actually doing a lot of shopping, was more like planning on window shopping. But you guys, I could not pass up these deals, okay? On my little road trip up to Franklin, Tennessee this weekend, I stopped by their local Bed Bath & Beyond, and you guys, I, oh, excuse me, I found some great gems, okay? First of all, I'm gonna start off with one of these items here. I've never seen this before. It's called Dynatrap. And basically, you know, anytime that you are moving into a new place, you know, you're gonna have your garage door open, you're gonna have your front door open because you're moving stuff in and out from the car. And one of those pesky mosquitoes or bugs or flies are bound to get into your home. Well, with Dynatrap, you just stick these little inserts into your electrical outlet and it takes care of any nasty bugs, flies, any insect that flies or gets on your nerves, it will take care of it and literally get deposited on these little traps that you insert. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond did not have the actual plug-in, so I'm going to go on to Amazon. I've already found them online and I'm gonna order about four or five for the house. Want to make sure I have one in uh, the major rooms like the living room, um, my front foyer. Also want to make sure I got some in my laundry room because that's going to be my primary entryway that I take each and every day that I come home. Uh, I'm just not a front door user, okay? I don't use my front door here. So why would I start using my front door in my new house, okay? When I have the luxury of literally stepping out of the car and walking in through the door, okay? Yeah. All right, so aside from that, I also stopped by another store in Franklin and I found this amazing candle by Nest. Uh, it's in the scent Apple Blossom. You guys, this candle smells so, so good. I really, really wanted to get, it's, it's more like a subtle apple smell. If you remember, um, I think it was either Bed Bath & Beyond. They used to have a fragrance similar to this way, way back in the day. My Gen uh, Xers would definitely know about this. And it reminds me of that particular scent. I really, really love it. Um, this candle here was $18. Uh, it's the small size. They had the much larger candle there, but I think that candle was about $38 uh, or $40. And I was not paying $38 to $40 for a freaking candle. I don't care. All right, that just ain't me. <laughs> um, another good gem that I picked up um, in their clearance section was this two-piece garland set that goes over your front door. Okay, who, who is not been looking for something that you can decorate the front door with, right? And it illuminates, okay? It comes with a pre, it's pre-lit, um, and you get two sets of these. Now, I found this one in the clearance section, and this bad boy was only $6, okay? Can we talk about saving some serious dough, okay? I wasn't even looking for it, and it just, boom, popped out. It was the only one. Now, they did have I think an open one, and obviously I didn't want that one. This one looked like it was more or less intact. So, and at $6, y'all, you can't beat that, all right? Even though I know it's not Christmas. Now, another find, oh, absolute, 
absolute find. Something that I didn't even know existed, y'all. But when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This is perfect. Now, for those of you all, if you remember, in one of my previous vlogs, I told you that I was planning on purchasing a canopy bed because I'm going for more of a boho type spa retreat in my master bedroom. Y'all, when you see this, y'all will know I ain't playing with y'all. Booyah! Okay, is this not perfect for a freaking canopy bed? Okay, tell me, how many people, how many places are you going to find the actual draping that falls over your bed? Okay, this is a sheer mesh bed canopy. It turns your bedroom into an elegant and graceful retreat. Easily hung from the ceiling or draped over four poster, over a four poster bed. The canopy accommodates up to a king size bed. It can also be used over a table uh, for a dramatic outdoor uh, entertaining event. So you guys, when I saw this, I could, I, I literally could not believe what I was seeing. No cap. I mean, I was just like, are you serious? Now, it was a little pricey, but you got to think about it. I have been, you know, I had a canopy bed when I was young. It's a twin size bed. Um, matter of fact, I'm trying to remember where my dad got that bed from. Um, I think it was either Haverty's or Lazy Boy. I can't remember. It was one of the two stores in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, guys. And ever since then, I've been wanting one, another one. But mainly for the reason of just literally waking up, you know, in the morning with a little bit of the sun kind of peeking through and just seeing this drape. It just gives you such that that literal retreat type vibe. And you can have it every single day. This is something I will never grow tired of. I mean, literally, okay? And it comes in a color ivory. So even, even better, okay? So that was the other find. And the last find that we have, and y'all, to be honest with you, I didn't even have this on my radar. I literally was kind of rummaging through what was left in the clearance aisle. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? I don't know. But y'all tell me what you think. Okay. This is a sharper image spa studio uh, modular hanging shower cat caddy. Um, it allows you to be able to organize your soaps, your razors, uh, anything you need to be able to have in the shower. And it's also adjustable. Now, it also has a U-bar and a W-bar. Uh, the U-bar fits on the front side where the W-bar uh, fits on the side. And you guys can kind of see that um, in the display. Uh, where like the little hanging cloth is kind of, a washcloth is kind of hanging down and off to the side, that's the W bar. So I'm assuming that's probably like for your razors uh, that you might need. But guys, you're not going to believe the price that I got it for, okay? $20.99. Now, I'm really going to be mad if I open this when I get ready to get to the new house and I find out, one, it doesn't fit my shower head, or two, all the pieces are not here. But even though that might be the case, I'm not going to, you know, speak that into, you know, into fruition. But I'm just going to say, if this ends up being an excellent find, you guys, I would have hit the jackpot, okay? Now, I'm a little confused because it does say on the back that there's additional accessories. Um... Oh, okay, so it does say speaker sold separately. Okay, so yeah, so there's a speaker that you see right here um, that I guess you could purchase and um, also a fogless mirror, which I don't think I need either one. I've got a speaker uh, that I'm going to have in my bathroom anyway, so that's not really going to be much of a big deal. So, you know, um, you know, they're, they always want to get you to buy new stuff. Uh, to go along with a lot of these items. And for me, I'm pretty practical. I only buy what I actually need to have. All right, 
last but not least, I actually meant to show this to you guys in the last haul, but you know, spider brain, plus I need to eat dinner. Um, this cute elephant, okay? For those of you all that know the Alabama Crimson Tides mascot is this exactly. It's an elephant, right? And I have never, as long as I have been an Alabama fan, I have never owned a freaking elephant, okay? I've had Big Al, the little plushy toy, but that's about it. But I've never actually thought about getting an elephant. And the lady that was giving the freebies out, she actually had two of these. And of the two, this one looked the best. So I decided, you know, I might do a little bit of touch-ups or I might even like um, get my daughter whose handwriting might be a lot better than mine and actually have her paint like an A somewhere either on the elephant's ears or maybe somewhere on its booty. <laughs> I got to put the A, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can't have Alabama Christmas Tide without Big Al and without an elephant, Okay. So these are the finds that um, I picked up. And guys, um, this is going to be kept kind of short, primarily because the next two hauls, you guys, are like literally going to knock your socks off, okay? When I say I hit the jackpot and a lot of this, actually, you know what? Considering um, the next one is coming up is Target, I might as well go ahead and do that one too because I've only been on here for 11 minutes. So let's get into the Target haul real quick. All right, so um, just for, actually, hold on one second, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm back. So I had to get one of the items from Target. I actually had it sitting on my bed over there. Uh, I'm in my master bedroom. Y'all, y'all know I have been rocking Tabitha Brown. And I'm gonna say this, for those of you all that get offended, I'm sorry. But why is it when African-Americans uh, look for distribution in a lot of the main department stores. Why is it that after Black History Month is over, why do they feel the need to mark everything down? I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I am <laughs> I always like to save my coins, but when it comes to my Black people, I will support no matter what the price is, as long as the quality of it is good. And that's why what I'm about to show you these next items are representative of what happens when large, you know, major stores bring in African American, um, you know, entrepreneurs items to put in their stores. Why does it always have to be literally, uh, you know, reduced in price just to get rid of it? And my girl Tabitha Brown, y'all, as you can see, um, her cookbook from the spirit, cooking from the spirit, I got at 30% off. Now this cookbook was originally priced at $30. So you do the math, okay? I ended up probably paying about 24, 23, 23, $24 for it. And I would have gladly have paid the full price for this cookbook. And the only reason why I'm just now getting it is because the other two Target stores in closest to my area didn't have these in stock. As a matter of fact, I knew she had a cookbook, but I couldn't find it in Target, okay? And I don't like shopping at Wally Mart unless it's just absolutely necessary. One, I find, you know, it's always crowded in there. And even in the affluent area that I live in, okay, they still find some way to go in there and just wreck displays. But that's a whole nother rant. Um, but anywho... But yeah, I have found, you guys, she has some great, easy, uh, delicious, and joyful plant-based inspiration recipes in this book. And I was taking a look at them last night, and y'all, I cannot wait to get literally unpacked in the new crib, because we gonna do up some of these recipes, y'all, okay? We gonna do them up Bama Girl style, okay? You know, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do a little something, something different than what Tabitha's cooking, Okay. But I just want to um, to show that to you guys. This next item or finds that I got will also help me while I'm in the kitchen. Um, her collection uh, of spatulas. Uh, this one says Sheena's cousin. Okay. Now I'm not quite sure who Sheena is, but I thought the color was really, really cute. 
Um, I picked up two of these. These were on clearance uh, for $1.50 each. And this was another one. It says, very good. Also, $1.50. Okay, I don't know why my daughter is in there screaming. Like, she just fell down the stairs. But knowing her, she probably did fall down the stairs. Let me tell you something about a teenage, my teenage daughter. This child can't walk up a flight of stairs, y'all, without tripping. Have you ever heard of a doggone 15 year old walking up the stairs and trips and falls? Not walking down the stairs, but up the stairs, okay? I don't get it. I was never this clumsy, okay, when I was her age. But then again, I was an athlete. My daughter is not athletic. She don't have an athletic bone in her body, okay? That could be the reason why she's so clumsy. All right, anyway, getting back to the haul. Um, I found this Turner, which I thought was really, really cute. I love the color. Um, it was also 150 and I picked up two of these. So really good finds, uh, for the Tabitha Brown collection. Now you guys, uh, Target also had these cute napkins on sale. Um, these were 90 cents for 14 count. I got five of these and five of these. I just love the color, okay? I I got to have some color in my life, okay? You know, I, in the past, I'm one of those girls who is just like, okay, I'm just going to do something minimal, you know, keep it simple, white, paper towels. I got to get in the color, okay? I got to bring some color in my life, all right? All right, next up are these cute cooking mittens in the exact same colors, the green and the yellows matches the spatula perfectly okay great find these were uh reduced to three dollars each and another set of these aren't these cute guys the yellow and the blue i mean really stay focused okay stay focused <laughs> these were also three dollars and one of the nicest finds I think I really, really saw is this cute table runner. Okay, guys, what do you think? The blue with the little yellow tassel. I mean, I mean, I would have loved to, you know, like I said, I don't mind getting things on sale, you know, but come on, this is Tabitha Brown, you guys. She is representing doing the damn thing, okay? Okay. Started a YouTube channel with cooking videos. Now she has her stuff marketed in Target. And Target has the nerve to disrespect her and mark down on her stuff. Like she did like she does nobody, y'all. Come on. Do they do they do um the 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 what is it? Uh hearth, uh heaven and hearth collection. I ain't seen none of that collection on clearance, okay? Because there's some, a set of chairs and an ottoman that I'm thinking about buying. But y'all, the price? Ooh, your girl. Mm, I don't know about all that. <laughs> so that's a cute one. And I also got this one too. These were the only two that they had left. And I just love the blues and the yellows. This collection is just really, really, really nice. And both of these are table runners that you can use both either an indoor or even an outdoor uh, type setting. Now, I have a couple more pieces to show you guys, but check this out. Um, this cute little tote bag, this is actually what it looks like when you take it out of the packaging. Y'all, isn't that cute? Okay. I mean, it's, I know it's vinyl, but I'm the type of person that like, if I'm going to the grocery store or to Sam's, you know, at Sam's Club, they don't have bags. They put, you put everything in a box, right? To take out to your car. These are perfect for a shopping trip when you're not picking up any heavy items at Sam's Club. Like you might be getting some grapes or you might be getting some bags of salad, you know, just something simple or even some bread, okay? Some chips. Perfect thing to put your stuff in. And don't let it be out here raining, okay? You know in the South, it's either hot as you know what or as rainy as you know what, okay? This was $1.50. Now, this next find here, I thought this was so cute, you guys. Not like I need any more mugs in my house, but I love I love the, the use of color, um, the blues, the yellows, the oranges. I mean, you guys, I just couldn't pass it up. And this was on clearance for $2.10. I mean, you just, you know, 
what's a girl to do? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm out here up in these streets. Now, these next two things, I actually got this uh, about two weeks ago when I bought a lot of clothes from the, uh, what is it? The Future Collective. I think that's what it's called. And that's actually coming up next. I'm actually going to do a try on haul. Um, I may actually wait until I move into the new crib because one, I don't have a lot of space here. And I want to be able to do a clothing haul justice so that I can actually like walk the walk, strut and all that other good stuff. So it might be better for me to wait until I've moved into the new house and I can literally do everything from my bedroom where I've got all the wonderful natural light. But in the meantime, I found these perfect Capricorn candles. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I'm a Christmas baby, so I'm a Capricorn. Yes, type A all day long. Y'all, this smells heavenly. This, this, this is giving, okay? This is giving Bama Girl, okay? This is Bama Girl packed into a soy candle. The scent, it's a unisex type scent, but y'all, it is one of them scents where you turn off all the lights, okay? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough of my private life, all right? Or lack thereof. <laughs> and last but not least, you guys, I picked up this nice platter. Look at that. Booyah! That yellow and that blue. Okay. Anytime for the summer or any type of, you know, event you're having, you know, you got everything sectioned off so you can have your chips, you can have your dip. Or you could even have like sides for like sandwiches um, or condiments that you might be serving at a get together. As a matter of fact, for my housewarming, this is going to come in handy. And I picked up two of these and I got both of these for, I think it was $6. So you guys, this was a good haul from Target um, and the Tabitha Brown collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i got another one coming up for you guys from ross and y'all that's gonna be a big one okay i picked up so much stuff from ross it's not even funny okay so i will see you guys in on the next video make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel it helps your girl out it helps my channel grow it helps me to fight the other channels that are also vying for YouTube's analytics. So help your girl out, okay? It's your girl, Ask Bama Girl 26. Deuces.